Kabul Patch Walk a number of Wallace Jirga members while condemning the recent remarks by Deputy CEO Mohammad Mohakik about Afghans partaking in Syrian war on Monday said the act was against Afghanistan's national interests. According to reports, second Deputy CEO Mohakik praised Gen. Qasem Suleiman a leader of Lashkar Fatimin in Syria and Afghans fighting in that country at a meeting in Tehran. Suleiman is one of the founders of Fatimian Brigade in Syria and has encouraged Afghan refugees in Iran to take part in the Syrian war. I thank all warriors who cooperated on the wars from Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan and other parts of the world. In fact, it was jihad against infidelity and conspiracies, Mohawkik had said. During Monday's session, Walesi Jirga members criticized the Mohawkik's remarks, saying the government should express its stance towards the high-ranking official at the earliest possible. Akbar Stanek Zai, a lawmaker from Logar, said second deputy CEO remarks were against the Afghanistan's foreign policy and that he should face legal action. Intervening in foreign wars and calling them right or wrong is against our national interests keeping in mind the current crisis that we are facing. Such remarks leave significant impact on continuation of war. He said Mohawk's remarks would yield negative results, adding foreign wars must not be dragged into Afghanistan and also Afghan youth shouldn't be misused. Salah Mohammad Salah, a legislator from Eastern Kuna, called Mohawkik's talks contrary to the country interests and said in the current situation the move was like pouring water into the enemy's water mill. He said sending and encouraging Afghan youth to take part in overseas wars such as Syria and the backing of politicians had resulted in the increased attacks of the Daesh on one certain group. Abdul Rayaf Ibrahimi, the Walesi Jirga speaker, said government officials should take into view the country's national interests inside and outside of the country. Any kind of remarks that put under question the people's interests is persecution of Afghan people. These remarks come in the absence of having a foreign policy, said Ibrahimi, adding the government should send a foreign policy draft law to the lower house for approval but the government had fallen short in this regard. Meanwhile, in reaction to Mohammad Mohawkik's recent remarks, the CEO Abdullah Abdullah also told a cabinet meeting today that the national unity government's policy on Afghans fighting in foreign countries was clear. We don't support Afghans fighting in any corner of the world, SNS.